Summoner's Choice 2023 and hello everybody welcome to the third and final video here on a Friday um, we've got a few things to go over in this as a lot of you know in game we've had uh, the Summoner's Choice champion vote so that's the first thing there are some other bits to this it's not just about this particular uh, message right here uh, so we have got ourselves because we want to know like the information about like what these champions are. They get a little bit of description here, but we don't know the class of them. You do get to find out the class of them when you get to vote. In that, Bullseye is a skill-based champion. Echo is a skill-based champion. White Tiger is a mystic champion. Gladiator is a cosmic champion. Sunfire is a cosmic as a mutant champion. Deathlock is a tech champion. Marrow is a mutant champion and Spider Punk is a science champion. How do I know this? Well, it's the color schemes of them are kind of located uh, as uh, as they are here. Now, I'm going to be taking a print screen there for my thumbnail. Uh, and, and yeah, this is all about you voting for who you want. I'm not going to influence who. I, I will tell you who I'm voting for. If you've seen the video I posted, uh, I think it was like a week ago nearly. Uh, I've already kind of made the decisions about it, but you vote who you want to vote for. Don't let, don't let anybody kind of like sway your votes. I do have a theory of how the voting is going to go, which I'm going to explain in a minute. This is your first round of voting, and then there's some more voting as well. So we'll go over some of like the voting and how it all breaks down in a second. So I'll just get this done and out of the way. Because, well, I hope that, and I should have checked whether or not he's referred to as Luther Manning. I'm going to go with, um, with Deathlock. I am hoping that the, the character is kind of like is going to be Luther Manning. My name is Richard Manning. I, yeah, it's a no-brainer. Actually, funnily enough, there is a, a child of Luther Manning in the comic books. I can't remember if it's from the Earth six one six. It might be from a different Earth, um, but he has a child called Richard Manning. Weird, then. Deathlock has a child called Richard Manning. Um, I, that's what I think. It's just, it's kind of weird, kind of cool. I would, would love for they mentioned me in game if Deathlock won. I don't think that would be the case. Wishful thinking. In any case, you get some more votes by doing fights. Win five fights in a game mode. Another fight, five fights. Another five fights. Easy peasy. Grab some more to claim. Get your voting off. My only other option was another character I like. Two of the ones I actually want to have character-wise in the game: Gladiator and Deathlock. Two champions. If you've uh, or characters, if you followed the videos, you know I've mentioned them in the past: Deathlock and uh, the champion, uh, the the Gladiator. Uh, or gladiator, sorry, and uh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna like even it down the middle. The other character I would like would have been White Tiger, but uh, it is, it is, you know, it is what it is. But I'm going, sorry, um, I'm going Deathlock with it. I kind of feel as well. I'd like to see more like stronger text uh, with it, but uh, the only other thing is that I will separate my votes out between these two characters, even if they go to a point of being the final two. Because that's the thing as well. We're, we're doing like a, a round of voting, aren't we? It's, that's that how it works. Uh, so if you're interested, this is how the voting works out. Uh, as Kabam have put this uh, via Marvel. So if you marvel.com, link in the description if you do want to check out this. It's how the voting works at the moment is that it starts round of eight starts now. So at the moment, we are voting for eight. Choice of eight, right? The choice of eight will go down to a round of four which kabam have said this will be january 20th so that's seven days from now seven days check it out craig david for those that get the reference for others that don't well sad sad to be you In any case the 27th of um of january is going to be the voting of um the final two i have my own predictions of how this is going to play out i'll i'm going to try and do a bit of guesswork now so how i feel this is going to go is we'll talk about the wild card in a minute but how I feel the voting is going to go, or how I feel this is all going to go down, is that we will see uh, four champions, Deathlock, Gladiator, Spider-Punk, and uh, White Tiger as the final four. That's my thoughts, that's my predictions on that one. And it will get down to a final two. Those final two will either be between Gladiator, De Gladiator or Deathlock. However, though, I feel a sneaky Spider-Punk might actually you know, weave its way in to be there. I'm sure a lot of people will say, no, it'll be White Tiger. Well, quite, there's, a, there's a, again, another distinct possibility that, that will be the case, but I don't think so. I personally think it's going to be between Deathlock and Gladiator with evidentially, uh, and ever, uh, kind of like a big, the big winner being Gladiator overall. Why do I think the voting is going to go that way? I just feel that Gladiator, because of the magnitude of the character, the background of the character, the strength, the extent of cosmic might that the character has has the same kind of effect 
as the likes of Hercules in that it would probably do a lot of damage. It probably would be similar to the likes of Hulkling. It could be Her like Hercules or it could have its own kind of like uh, build structure. If I'm being honest, I'd love to see more of a massive combo building champion. The one like something similar to Aegon and have it like not game breaking, but at least kind of close to that. The same way that we were pitched Gladiator, uh, pitched uh, Hercules in the past. But um, I don't want to write off Deathlock. As I said, I really want Deathlock in this game. And if we don't get it this time, I really hope we get it down uh, in the future. But I could be wrong. I, I do like to be wrong. I, and why would I want to be wrong? Because it spices it up. To predict something and it comes off. It's, it's Wow, I got something right. whoop de doo But at the same time, you want to expect the unexpected. You want some an underdog story. You want just the kind of weirdest things to happen. And that's what makes it exciting about MCOC rather than going, oh, you can predict this is going to happen or that's going to happen. It's like, well, come on. this If you, everything is kind of like so bleedingly obvious, then you take away any kind of excitement from this. So I hope there's kind of like um, something more for it. The only other thing is that we are doing a on to round two, right? Sweepstake wild card on uh, the uh, on Twitter. So that looks like this. And at the moment, uh, the tweet side of things or retweet side of things is that we have got ourselves uh, Bullseye on 90, 95. Echo is on 28. 87 for Gladiator. We've then got 66 for Deathlock, which is there. Marrow has 25. White Tiger, oh, White Tiger actually is uh, is kind of blasting through. That shakes things up. And if it goes by a popularity standpoint, then I think I'm going to be wrong with that. And it will be a case that White Tiger will be shining as uh, number one. There must be some reason behind that particular character. Maybe it's a regional thing. Maybe it's an interest side of things. It's hard to really say who, why, what reason. But with Deathlock having um, a little bit less than that, it and Gladiator having, what, second of the vote? Well, Bullseye seems to be like the second popular kind of vote option there. I guess that's what's going to happen. It's going to be shaken up. So all those predictions that I had there, well, we're going to have to like change that then. It looks like, if we were to kind of put it this way, based on popularity, it might even go Bullseye, White Tiger, Gladiator, and then the last one will be touch and go as to who actually reaches it. It could even see that like White Tiger could like jump up to like being the final two with another character. Who really knows? But I would agree with players if they are voting that way that getting another Mystic based champion in what is a very low amount that we have currently in game, except for Absorbing Man. Absorbing Man does add a little bit too. So the playable classes side of things, we are within a little bit of a loose element with this, with um, Absorbing Man kind of like, you know, uh, another Mystic. It means that we've got 38 Mystics overall. So adding that extra one into it at least starts topping that up. So yeah, I mean, I get it. I, I, you know, I back it. I think one of the ones that I think was a slight outsider for me would be White Tiger if it kind of went through. It just depends on what kind of kit Kabam have with it. We looked at some of the abilities of the character as to like what what would be like an interesting addition to the game, and they could do that. It's just a case of like what Kabam have in store plan wise for a character. They probably haven't even thought about it. Maybe give a little description of like. Uh, the character in general, but we'll have to see, we'll have to see of like how everything pans out with um, with all this all this process and uh, and a mystical amulet that grants her astounding powers. So uh, yep, yeah. um, the future, man, the future. It's gonna be it literally will be a crazy old time as to uh, what happens with this. And I think it's good because it does. As I said, one thing that's good is shaking up what how people are kind of voting, how people are seeing specific types of characters. Doesn't seem there's much love for Echo. That's so fine. That's okay. That's fine. Um, you know, Bullseye. I guess there's a lot of people that are fans of Bullseye and want to see um, want to see him in the game. A figure. I, you know, I didn't. I did not realize that um, since. Well, I guess it's since like the popular vote that we did recently that players want to see uh, the character. Kind of makes sense. Makes sense um, completely. Deathlock, man, they're in seventy-one. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Would nice, would nice to see like some more votes for uh, for Deathlock, but um, hey ho, um, yeah, it's just it's at the moment. I think it's like a, it's a war between who gets the last place. Either it's going to be Spider Punk, or it's going to be 
uh, Deathlock. Because we've got Gladiator. Well, if if it does go this way, Gladiator, Bullseye, and White Tiger. Um, so yeah, the last place is going to be always up for grabs. Um, but yeah, that's been it, ladies and gentlemen. That's my final video for today. <sighs> Don't know who you're voting for. Get grinding with stuff. Get voting with things. Get involved. You know, um, I really voted. Yep, and you get all those kind of lovely little profile profile pictures as well. Collect them all like Pokemon. In any case, thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, check out some other content located on the screen. I'll see you all soon. Much love and goodbye.